Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ria Minaya. I am a fellow in Pediatric Pulmonology at SRCC Hospital, Mumbai. Uh, Ma'am is uh, Dr. Indu Kosla. She is Senior uh, Consultant Pediatric Pulmonologist at SRCC Hospital. Today we are going to discuss on pneumonia and we create awareness on pneumonia. Uh, so Ma'am, uh, what is pneumonia? Ma so uh, pneumonia is a very common term and parents describe it for many things. Even sometimes if a child is just coughing, they will call it pneumonia. It's not true. So pneumonia is basically an infection of the lungs. And when we say infection of the lungs, these are children who may get an infection either because of viruses or because of bacteria, right? So pneumonia per se means infection of the lungs. Yeah. So ma'am, what are the common uh, symptoms of pneumonia? How the parents can identify it? So that's a very important question, Abhinaya. So because the parents should be should know when they are supposed to come to, uh, you know, reach out to medical facility. So if they have a child who's running high fever, right, uh, an older child might complain of chest pain, chest tightness, whereas younger children may just have little, they may be very sick, they may stop eating, high fever, they may be breathing a little fast. Okay. okay, so initially when you have bacterial pneumonias, you don't have cough, you just have high fever, you may have chest pain and you may have sometimes children will complain of stomach pain because the pain from the chest might go up to the stomach and these are kids who may have a little fast breathing. Okay. If you have a viral pneumonia, many of these kids are very breathless and they may also cough a lot. So bacterial pneumonia, the cough comes later, but in viral pneumonias, children may have fast breathing, fever and cough. So by and large, parents should understand that their child is probably suffering from pneumonia. If the child has high fever, he has is breathing fast, has chest pain, and he sometimes is occasionally very breathless. So these are the general symptoms of pneumonia. Okay. So ma'am, what are the danger signs for the parents to know? So a child who's just not feeding, right? Okay. A child who's dull, who's okay. listless, okay. who's not feeding, a child who's breathing fast. That is again a danger sign. Okay. If many of uh, everybody today has a pulse oximeter at home, after COVID, it's like a common place, right? Everybody has a pulse oximeter. So if you check the child's saturation and if it's below, you know, 94 and above is normal. Mm -hmm. So if you have a saturation and if you have taken it properly, sometimes you may be misled also, unless the yeah. pulse oximeter is correct. So if your saturation is low, that is again a danger sign. A child who is looking a little blue, mm -hmm. right? These are all your danger signs of, of pneumonia and this is the time when you really need to uh, probably be admitted in a hospital for further management. Uh, what is a normal saturation in a child? So normal saturation should be anything about 94, okay. right? Okay. If it is less than 94, and I would surely say if it's less than 90, it's definitely concerning. So the cutoff is 94. Okay. Uh, so ma'am, what are the ways to prevent pneumonia? Okay. So that's a very uh, vital question that you have asked. So as I mentioned earlier that pneumonia comes through viruses and bacteria. So for certain viruses and bacteria, we have vaccination. So like say for instance in the flu season, which is typically monsoon months, and the winter months in our country, you, you should give the flu vaccine. Okay. So typically in a city like Mumbai, the vaccine should be given just before the monsoon start. Okay. But if you are staying in Chennai, the, your flu season starts in the winter months. Yeah, yeah. So maybe around that time you should, before the winter months start, you should take the flu vaccine and you should take it annually. We have pneumonia vaccines, which is uh, which are the pneumococcal pneumonia vaccines. So you must take, and even the government of India gives it free in the immunization schedule. So I would just... Uh, request all parents to see that they take vaccines because they are expensive vaccines and somebody might say we don't have the resources to take it but government of India gives it free so you must take the pneumonia vaccine against the pneumococcal disease we also have another vaccine called the hip vaccine yes. which is again for pneumonia and again government gives it free and it's freely available across uh, there are certain other causes of pneumonia which is called as pertussis yes. again which is covered with a vaccine called as DPT so these are the different vaccines that you must take to prevent pneumonia. Okay. Beyond this, good hygiene. Yes. Right. So avoid places which are overcrowded, too dusty, uh, uh, and which are like you know if you have an overcrowded place, you are more likely to pick up an infection. Good, ha uh, good food habits. Yes. So if your child is well nourished, right, you are less likely to you know get these severe yeah. infections. Yeah. Right. So good nutrition, good, uh, good hygiene. Okay. 
vaccination and also hand hygiene hand hygiene extremely yeah. important in opinion yes. so that all is very uh, very important for for anybody to prevent pneumonia yeah. so recently we are seeing a mini lot of a respiratory infection and is there any correlation between the rise in the air pollution and the respiratory infection which we see in the opd uh, again I, I, today everybody is talking about aqi yes. and every day you know people don't see the temperature nowadays but they see the aqi okay. correct yes it has a very strong correlation when we talk about aqi we're talking about particulate matter we're talking about black soot we're talking about yes. carbon monoxide yeah. nitric oxide yeah. sulfur dioxide and dust all this are the uh, you know compose the aqi yes. so all of these are respirable especially if the size particulate yeah. is like 2.5 yeah so these are respirable uh you know uh, respirable uh, uh dust particles or polluted particles which can go through the air so if you uh, take these in so it is going to ca cause inflammation mm -hmm. inflammation will reduce your immunity to some extent it will increase the risk to infection it will also make your uh, you know your system more prone and probably even recovery may be delayed because you can yes. tend to because it irritates the airway so you per persistently tend to cough here i must mention the role of tobacco smoking so tobacco is one thing if a child is exposed to inside the house so you have pollution outside yes, you have pollution inside, inside the, house, the house and tobacco is one such smoke which should be avoided in all circumstances and parents will say i smoke outside and come but that's not done because he will still carry the smoke in his mouth and that can cause problems to the children uh burning kachua inside the house the the coil mosquito coils uh in in a interior of a country even the kind of biomass fuel that they use uh that causes black soot so all these are indoor air pollutants pesticides used inside the house etc so these all are contributory so avoiding indoor and outdoor pollution avoiding tobacco smoking is very essential because it worsens a respiratory infection